go to the next one, uh, Bob. It's a 1987 Fiero uh, GT. Some yeah. recent history around this car. Well, super. Uh, th this was one of uh, John DeLorean's projects when he was head of Pontiac division. And it was um, uh, the corporate edict was no more sports cars, no more sports cars. We already have the Corvette and the Camaro. But he sold it as a two-seat commuter car. Hmm. This, this company needs a two-seat commuter. So uh, the, this is one of the later ones with the soft back end and the soft front end and aesthetically much more pleasing than the early Fieros. These are, these are very rare. I mean, Fieros, Fieros are rare to begin with, but these late model ones with the rounded bodywork are especially rare and to me, especially nice. And we thought, you know, we're looking at, uh, you know, all kinds of cars that, that get submitted, and we generally focus on, you know, 50s, 60s, some 70s muscle, on into the 80s. But even in, as late as 87, there's, there's, there's something classic about this one. Well, I, I, the, the Classic Car Club of America would disagree, but <laughs> the, the way we use the word classic, it's true. I, I, would, I would term it, what we have here today are special interest cars. There you go. Cars well, that are historically significant and this is certainly one of them well, it, it also paved the way for modern mass-produced use of plastic panels in cars well let's see what's uh, especially interesting about this one uh, the 87 fiero uh, gt with christina khan eric over to you hey how you doing hello so what do you got here it's a 87 pontiac fiero gt 87 fiero gt yes now when i was a kid these things were all over the place. You saw Fieros constantly, yeah. but you don't see a ton of them on the yeah, road there's, anymore. There's not very many anymore at all. Yeah, it, this is your car. Yes, it's my car. It's my first car. I just turned 16 last month. Congratulations. Thank you. Very cool first car. For sure. It's a lot of fun to drive. I bet. So is this what you wanted? Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. I was looking and looking for them, but me and my dad, we kept looking at some and they were all rust rusted out and they were just really bad cars. And then we found this one. It's rust free. It's perfect. And it was a lot of fun to get and work on. Very nice, where'd you guys find it? It was in Warren, Michigan. Oh, so it was real close. Yeah, it was in an estate sale and it was in storage for 20 years, so it needed some work like the brakes and like the headlights and everything. And me and my dad, it was fun to work on it with him. That's fantastic. That's super cool that you guys are working sure. on it together. Absolutely. It's nice when a dad gets to, you know, work with a 16-year-old daughter on cars. I mean, how many times you get to hear that? Now? Yeah, so, not very often. Absolutely. Not so it's been a lot often. of fun, you know. I mean, I something, something to do with her and I mean, it, can't ask for anymore. Very cool. What do you love about a Fiero? I like the headlights. I just yeah. think they're so unique and they're just, I like when you can flip them up and I love driving it when it's dusk because then I like have to put them up and it just <laughs> looks cool. All right. Well, thank you both All for right, coming out. You. Have a great thank cruise this year. Appreciate it. All right, Fred, take it away.